So let's talk about the AWS Systems Manager. Now, this is a service that I think as a sysops, you will use so many times, but currently in the exam, it's just a little part of it. Still, I want to provide you with real world skills. So I'm going to go a bit beyond what you should know for Systems Manager. Trust me, it's well worth it. Still, in this lecture, I'm going to give you the main aspect of Systems Manager so that you're ready for the exam. If you want to skip the rest of the lessons, that's up to you. So Systems Manager will help you manage your EC2 instances and your on-premise systems or VMs at scale. And you will get operational insights about the state of your infrastructure. So it's the way to manage all your infrastructure. With it, you can easily detect problems. You can patch for enhanced compliance. So there is a patching facility as of Systems Manager, and that is a current very uh, common question at the exam. And it works for both Linux and Windows OS. It's, by the way, integrated with CloudWatch metrics and dashboard and config, and it's a free service. So overall, if you there's one thing you should remember out of it, if the exam is asking you, we need to patch all the OS of our EC2 instances, how do we do this? Well, the way to do it is to use Systems Manager. That's basically it for the exam. Still, I want to go a bit beyond and show you other things. So the features, there are so many of them. There's resource groups, insights, and it provides insights dashboard, inventory, compliance. There is the parameter store that we'll see in this uh, in this section. Then there is some actions you can do, such as automation. So for example, if you want to automate shutting down EC2 or creating AMIs, you can run commands directly from Systems Manager onto all of your instances, and that's something we'll see. You could use Session Manager, and we'll see this to SSH or have a secure shell into your instances. It's a bit magical, you'll see. Patch Manager, as I said, is how you patch all your instances all at once. Maintenance Window is how you set your instances that are they can be patched at this certain amount of time. And State Manager to basically define how your OS and applications should be configured. So there's a lot of things here. And honestly, I don't expect you to remember any of that. You just need to remember what Systems Manager is and is used for. And really what's important for you is the Parameter Store, the Run Command, the Session Manager, and the Patch Manager. What I'm going to show you in the UI, how does it look like? So here in the management console, if we go to systems manager, we get basically a central place to gain operational insight and take action or resources. As I told you, there are so many kind of things you can do. And you can see on the left-hand side, all these different menus have something to do. Now, this is, as I said, quite advanced. And you shouldn't look into the, all of them or learn all of them, how they work. But the most important ones I will show you. And so right now, what I just did in my slide is just copy all these and explain them. Trust me, as time goes on, you'll get a better understanding of how they work and what they do. Next, how Systems Manager work. So it's super important for you to understand how that works because I think that could be a question at the exam. SSM is an AWS service. And basically, we need to have our instances install the SSM, the SSM agents. And that means that by installing the agent, basically they will report to the SSM service. This agent is installed by default when you use the Amazon Linux AMI or any Ubuntu AMI. Otherwise, you'll have to install it, but it's very easy. It's just a software. So say we have EC2 instances, we may have also on-premise VMs. So we install the SSM agent and automatically it goes and report to the SSM service. So we can have this on many EC2 instances and also on on-premise VMs. If there is a problem saying the SSM agent cannot talk to SSM, it's probably an issue with the SSM agent and IAM. That's because maybe you don't have the proper permissions to talk to SSM. So this is one thing I want you to remember, SSM doesn't work out of the box, we need to have the agent on it. So in the next lecture, what we'll do is that we'll launch a few EC2 instances and configure them correctly so that we can see them in SSM. So see you in the next lecture.